Member for Calgary Elbow. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Study after study after study has shown that the Springbank Offstream Reservoir is the cheapest, most effective, and most timely way to ensure that downtown Calgary and river communities are protected like flooding that we saw in 2013. But my constituents and everyone who cares about the economic engine of downtown Calgary were very concerned when the Canadian Environmental Assessment Agency sent back a long list of questions about the Springbank Environmental Impact Assessment to the Minister of Transportation. Given that your department has put a lot of resources into preparing that EIA, why are there still so many outstanding questions? The Honourable Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and thank you very much to the Honourable Member for the question. And he has been a solid advocate on behalf of the Springbank yeah. Reservoir, which is something that is strongly supported, uh, strongly supported and continues to be strongly supported by this government because it is the right answer to protect Calgary from future major flood events. We have not wavered, Mr. Speaker. We are not wavering now. Now, having said that, there are a number of deficiencies in the EIA, has been pointed out, but these kinds of requests for further information are normal and part of the normal process. Mr. Speaker, we're working very hard to supply the additional information. Thank you, Honourable Minister. Supplemental. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. This spring will represent five years since the devastating southern Alberta floods, and every year that goes by brings more risk. So it's incredibly frustrating to see that there may be yet another delay on this project. The timeline has already been extended, and I'm worried this latest setback will put the people and businesses in southern Alberta at risk for even longer. Again, to the Minister of Transportation, what impact will this information request have on the project timeline, and what are you doing to ensure that your department works quickly to answer CIA's questions? And keep the project on track. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I want to assure the honourable member in the House that the department and I are working full out to make sure that these deficiencies are re remedied uh, as uh, as quickly as possible and as thoroughly as possible, Mr. Speaker. We think that any delays will be measured in weeks and not months. Supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last week, it was revealed that the few remaining landowners opposed to this project are coming up with new and creative ways to try to block it. Most recently, they've proposed the development of what appears to be an attempt to frustrate the province's legitimate plans to acquire the land. Again to the Minister, will this tactic have an impact on the project costs or timeline, and can you reassure the countless thousands of people who benefit from this project, including my constituents, everyone who lives or works in downtown Calgary, the people downstream of the city, including those in Siksika, Medicine Hat, and rural Alberta, that you remain committed to the Springbank Offstream Reservoir? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I want to assure unequivocally that we remain committed to the Springbank Offstream uh, uh, reservoir as a solution to the protection of Calgary from future flood events, Mr. Speaker, and I want to assure him that we are doing everything possible. This particular proposed development, Mr. Speaker, uh, will not change the value of the land, uh, and uh, we don't think, consider it a serious proposition, Mr. Speaker. It's an attempt to drive up the cost of the land, uh, and Mr. Speaker, and we're making sure that we do everything possible to make sure that does not happen. Temple Calgary Pope.